Okay, this is the free weekly BBO instant tournament for the week beginning March 8th. Now, today is the, uh, well, it's after midnight, so it's now the 12th. Uh, I actually played these hands on the 8th. Where is it? History. Um, here's the results I got on the on the 12th. I've got 83.84.38%, and those are my cotton results. But the video screwed up, and I started not to replay it, but... I was asked to, to do it, so I'm going to replay the hands. I'm going to try to remember what I did on them. So here we're going to come to um, Instant Tournament Weekly Free. And as always, you have the best hand at the table, best being loosely defined as the most high card points. So in this hand, I have somebody else can have the same number as you, and I have 10, and my partner opened. So in theory and in practice, it's 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, and 10 points. So you can see how long I'm going to think here. This is a BBO helper. So when I bid, just going to show you how long. It, it took robot 0.2 seconds. So when I bid, you can see how long I talked here. But I'm going to bid a spade. I didn't catch it. went too fast. And partner bid two clubs again in 0.3 seconds. Now I know partner has 10 points. In the real world, I would bid again for my hands worth 11 with the doubleton and support for clubs. I would bid three clubs, but since he's got only 10 and I got only 10, five clubs is a long way off. So I'm just going to pass two clubs, and that's what I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. 23 seconds for me to pass. Okay, so now let's look at it. We're going to lose a diamond for sure and a club for sure. So we've got two sure losers. And. We have to guess diamonds. If West has the queen of diamonds, we finesse. As Ace of diamonds, we don't finesse. I mean, we, we do finesse. We've got the queen. We, we play small to the king if West has got the ace. But uh, I need to throw away some hearts out of my hand, so I'm going to finesse diamonds. I don't want to pull trumps because I could rough three spades in dummy. And uh, if diamonds work, I can throw some hearts away. So if I was playing this hand, I wouldn't pull trumps, but it looks like they're going to pull them for me. I'm going to unblock club so I can get back over there or over here if I want. So I don't need the nine. Well, it's not good for us to pull trumps, but they're pulling them for us. Jack. And I want to be in my hand, so I'm going to win the queen. So that's all the trumps. Five, four, two, two. Normal distribution. So we're just going to finesse in diamonds. And that worked good. Okay, so five, two, three, three. If they're three, three, that diamond's good. They're out of trumps. So I'm going to throw a uh, heart. And if they both follow, I get two more pitches out of my hand. Okay, so he's got one more diamond, so we'll trump it out of him. And now uh, that diamond's good, and I can rough three spades and dummy in this. And I'm going to throw that heart on the three of diamonds so I can rough one of those hearts. Okay, so I'm going to make five maybe I should have bid again after all of course partner wouldn't accept me in game try and I will throw a heart away and now I'll just take the rest of the tricks I'm going to cross rough Yeah, I remember being somewhat surprised by that score. 100, yeah, 100%. That's what I got last time. All right. So here I got 12 points. I'm going to open a diamond and rebid a club. And this partner bids a spade. I'll raise a spade. Auto alert. Okay. partner doubled well I don't think they can make two diamonds doubled is uh, I've got real diamonds not promising a lot of extras I'll bid again if I got a lot of extras I'm not going to bid again to try to get partner to bid and he chose not to bid okay so here you would normally give a suit signal Partner probably has a good idea. I had the king. If the guy had the king, he'd have put into ten or nine to catch the jack. Um, 
but robots don't play signal, so I'm gonna just play the two. Doesn't matter, matter. But you know, normal partner. Maybe I would give count, which is what would the two would have been if you're not playing upside down count. Okay, so partner had two diamonds. Declare has two diamonds. Five, four, two, two. I'm gonna win this one with the jack. And I'm going to lead us. Partner's got to have at least one more heart. So whatever it is, Declare will have to rough this. And it may give Partner a Trump promotion, but more, more than anything, I'm going to keep him from winning a diamond trick. So his Partner will over rough if he rushes low. Well, he didn't rough low. So now my we got diamond stopped. I don't need the eight of diamonds. So if we go ahead, all right, well, King. I'm going to keep my spade. I'll pitch a club. Okay, so partner would need the jack of spades or the ace of spades. Let's see what he's got. That's a good one. Now I got the queen nine over the ten. If the car doesn't have the jack of clubs, we're okay. Seventy-five percent. Well, I guess that's okay. Interesting. Well, I know I opened this one a diamond. And I've got enough diamonds. I'm going to bid the three diamonds, not vulnerable. I'm not going to let him play two hearts when he want to play two hearts. Okay, partner's hand is not as useful as we would think. We've got two spade losers, possible heart, or heart loser, two club losers eventually. But... Um, I'm going to, if I, I can bet it a queen, if it wins, I'm going to lose two clubs. So I'm going to try the 10. As long as he has at least one hard honor, I'll get it back because I'm going to finesse the second time. If he's got both hard honors, I can get rid of a club loser. That's the theory here. Okay, well, now let's go about pulling trumps. <laughs> Somebody made a mistake. I'm going to pull the last. Well, there's two trumps out. Maybe they both come. No, six, three, three, one. He's still got the uh, high diamond, the ten of diamonds. Oh, I'm going to risk that he didn't duck the king. I'm going to throw a club away. And we'll try to set up a spade. We're going to lose a spade and another diamond, and that's it. Okay, I'm just, he's get, he gets it to 10 of diamonds. Okay, I got six, 16 high card points and a quality heart suit. 17 in five hearts is 18. Four, eight. So I've got a really, i got a good hand. Now i got a real good hand for spades too. The only problem is I don't have four spades, but this hand reminds me of a little bit of a hand that's frequently referred to as the Bridge World Hand of Death, where you have three good card support for your partner's major and a good six card minor. And you you have a tough rebid. If you bid three diamonds, you might miss a five three spade fit. If you raise spades to three level, you might win a four three yucky fit. But my hand gets a lot more points when partner bids a spades. I get three points for the singleton, so I was at 18 before. I'm now at 19, so I think three spades is probably an underbid. 16 to 18, and I'm up, I'm up to around. Uh, 18, 19, 21.
but I only have three card support, so I'm going to bid three spades because that's what I did the first time I played this hand. Because I remember that. Just trying to find the right bid there. And yeah, this is another one where you don't want to pull trumps because I've got I've got one club, two hearts, and three spades, and a diamond. One club, three spades is four, two hearts is five, six, and a diamond seven. We're a lot of tricks short. So we're going to have to cross rough. I'm going to rough hearts over there and we'll rough diamonds over here. So I'm going to see, I mean, cl yeah, clubs over here, not diamonds. So ideally, I'm going to sneak in with the three here. Okay. So now. I'm going to cash the king of, I'm not going to throw a club because I plan to rough both those clubs. Throw a diamond. It's, technically, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and cash the ace of diamonds now, too. When you're doing a cross rough, you want to cash your side suit winners. I'm trying to decide if there's a reason not to. I don't want to lose my ace of diamonds. Heart. Rough. If I can just rough this safely, we're all right. Yes, club rough. Now I get my, my two trumps. And we can claim no more tricks. We should stop right now. We're at ninety-two percent. I'm worth. A, I am worth a two-club bid, six clubs. But I have now bid myself out. Okay, East has got good spades. Hearts, for instance. West has got good hearts. Robot leads king from ace king, so I'm gonna lead the king. In your partnership, you may lead ace from ace king. When we play with the robot, you want to play what they play. Okay, we don't know what partners don't signal uh, here, so I'm just cash the ace, see what happens. Okay, so I'm not worried about the fact that dummy can rough partner if he's got a trump. He can definitely over rough the two. Um, when you when your partner knows you're you've got you know you probably he'll play me for five or six clubs, and when I lead another one he's going to play me not for having the, the queen, uh, the jack, or maybe I might with the rough and dummy. If you lead a very low one, I'm going to say I want a diamond back. If you lead a your very highest one, you say I want a, I've got the ace of hearts because you know you're giving suit preference signal. But here I don't have a I don't have a strong preference for either one. I don't care what partner leads back. I mean it doesn't help. I don't have I don't want to signal anything in particular. He's unlikely he's going to lead a heart anyway. He's probably going to lead a diamond no matter what I do. If he if he rests that one, so the player has two trumps left. They're both higher than mine. So he's, he's got one more higher than mine. Well, we're going to force the king the ace. I mean, just coming in my jack. No. Clara knows I got all these clubs, so I'm just playing them. Good card for This looks like about an average board. Looks like the robot's going to get to four spades no matter what we do. And they're not, they don't have any chance to make it. Yeah, 53%. Okay, so Bergen was subtract a point for the for the for the crappy for the doubleton honor. I he does any honor. If I've got ace, queen, doubleton, I won't subtract a point. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got a quality spade suit. 
three of the top five honors, at least four cards long, is a point. It's 12. Five card shoots 13. I'm going to open the spade. And partner made a splinter in clubs. The worst, <laughs> worst, I mean, m a lot of my points, it's not half, but if you discount the Queen of Diamonds, it's half my points are in clubs. And he's got one or none. So, but we're not going to play four clubs doubled, obviously, so I'm going to bid four spades. I like to play limit splinter. Whoa. Well, East Rush a diamond. Uh, we're going to be in trouble. That's what we do about it. We lose two, three diamonds. No spades, but looks like two hearts. So we can do something fancy. Oh, I can throw hearts on clubs, maybe. another one we'll see if West Ducks is Ace of Clubs no we're gonna throw another heart on a king and we're gonna give them a heart they get a heart claim so we, we, we get five of the last tricks down one Well, we've got 15 points. We've got a quality suit of 16, and a five card suit of 17. We've got, a, we've got one, two, three, four cracks, and two aces and 10. So those that's no adjustment. You need a difference of three. It would have been, it would, we would lose a point if we didn't have the 10 of spades. But we're going to open a spade. All right, when partner raises our spades, we don't have a six spade, so we don't get any more points in spades. We get a point for a side four card suit. So we started with 17. We now get 18 for the side four card suit. Let's see, 18. And we've got two doubletons. Get one more point. That's 20. So we have 20 points. Bergen points. If you don't know about Bergen points, I have a link to a uh, video I made oh, two years ago uh, about. Very point hand counting. I'm a bit four spades. Small spades, seven to the eight. Small diamond to the nine. If he says the, well, that's a textbook play. But unfortunately, I don't want to mess my entries up. I think I'm okay. If I lose two diamonds, I'm still going to make. So I just lose the king and jack of diamonds. Oh, but I lose two hearts. Well, I can't lose two diamonds right away. Anyway, what I did last time and I'm going to do this time is I, I led the queen of diamonds with the theory that if he had the king, he's going to cover or win the ace, and I can take a pitch on the uh, king of clubs. If he doesn't have the king, then I can finesse the jack later, so I make any time he has the king or jack. But now I'm thinking about it. I might have a better line. I might have a trump to the dummy and a small king of clubs pitch of heart. Small diamond. Yeah, that, that looks like a yeah. I, last time I, I messed up, I got I got creative. I led the queen because I didn't want to eat my entry. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could. I, I'm going to take the finesse on the second round anyway. So, I play spade to the eight, small diamond to the nine. When it loses. Uh, so I got a fourth diamond. I got a rough and dummy. I lose the opportunity to rough my fourth diamond if I do that. So I'm gonna stick with my original play, which I remember. I led the queen, king, ace, there you go. And now I pitch, I pitch this. And now I'm planning to rough my last diamond and dummy if necessary.
I still don't know if that's the right play. It may be the right play to go ahead and leave the spade to dummy and leave some to small to the nine. Looks like it would work out the same. I mean, I cast a spade to dummy, cast king, club, store hearts, so they can't beat me to death in hearts. Well, it looks like both plays would have worked the textbook play in, in the one I chose. Huh? I was going to finesse West twice in diamonds anyway. All right, well, I, I've got a balanced uh, 15. Got what looks like two diamond stoppers or diamond and a half stopper. Showed a 14 to 18. What did they actually play? 14 to 15, 15 to 18. 15 to 18, I mean. Um, all right, well, looks like I've gotten doubled for penalty, so just like last time. Well, I want to set up spades four, four, three, two kind of concept. Oops, they made a mistake. Now my spades are all good. Well, I can never get over there. All right. So I've got 83.5 again. So I think I did the uh, hands about like I did them when I played them the first time. And the video screwed up. Which was my goal. Let's look at recent tournaments and see. AC.48. I did a little better this time. I don't really know which board I got better on. But basically the same. I think my results are identical. I mean, my contracts are identical. So, hope you enjoy it. Sorry for the delay.